Welcome back fellow goblins. My name's Lila, this is Banana, and in today's video, I will be discussing what it means to be kith or other-hearted and how it's different from theory anthropy or being other kin or alter humanity. For those who don't know, uh, other kin or alter human or Therian is basically where you identify partially as non-human. In my case, it is purely spiritual, it is directly linked to my paganism and directly linked to my practice in witchcraft. However, comma, I am what's called other-hearted or kith as well. Specifically, I'm reptile kith. What that means is basically, instead of identifying partially as that creature, that being, that animal, um, as a part of your spiritual identity, I am deeply spiritually connected to reptiles. And it doesn't have to be spiritual. For some people, um, some people who are other-hearted or kith are actually not spiritual at all. They just have a very deep connection that is completely unrelated to spirituality. You do not have to be spiritual in order to rock with other kith itty or alter humanity. Sorry for the weird pauses. I'm trying to collect my thoughts. I'm going to speak on uh, being reptile kith, but basically everything I'm saying here can apply to any other species that you are kith with. So. Being reptile kith, as you can see, I keep a lot of reptiles. These here, up here I have a, a Burmese python, a reticulated python, and down here I have a common boa constrictor. Um, and keeping reptiles is one of the ways that I give back to that species, that, I, that really connects me with that species. I do things like you know, making sure they have clean water, making sure that they're fed on time, making sure that I create environments that are suitable for them. As such, when I am uh, doing those tasks, it's sort of like my way of giving back to the spirit of those animals. Um, I mean, reptiles as a whole, like the essence of reptiles. Similar to how I mentioned in my last video, I said you should leave offerings for your theriotypes, the essence of that animal. It's also just a really good way to, you know, give back to things that are coming from nature, a way to give back to mother nature. And you can do this even without keeping the species. Like obviously if you're like, say you're wolf kith, Obviously, you're not going to be able to keep a wolf and, and, you know, feed it and nurture it because it's a wild animal. So something else you can do is, like I mentioned in my last video, you could leave offerings for it. You could um, do things to connect, like draw it, um, whatever the species is. You could go for like a hike in that species honor. Um, you can donate, this is a really good one, uh, if you are able, you can donate to organizations that help support and, and ensure the safety and continuation of that species. Those are just a couple examples of things that you can do. So to go more in depth about how kith differs from uh, being kin, I am a wolf, cat, and northern pike therian. Those for me are past lives that I feel deeply connected to today and identify as a part of myself, as part of my soul as it is now. Because I believe that you, as you circle through various iterations of yourself, you can discover those and it helps you better understand your purpose today. For me, through meditation, it was wolf, cat, and northern pike. I do not believe I was a snake in a past life. I do not feel connected to them in that way. However, I feel deeply drawn to the species. I feel incredibly connected to the species. I am infatuated with them. I want to learn more about them. I want to give back. I want to do everything that I can in order to research them um, and learn about the different kinds in my area. So. It is very different. It, it has some overlap, but it is very different. And I feel as though a lot of people tend to misconstrue other kith with other Kennedy very frequently, uh, especially on TikTok. TikTok, 
TikTok has kind of become like a cesspool for misinformation surrounding uh, theory anthropy and alter humanity in general. I personally don't even really like the term alter humanity, but I know that it's more inclusive. So that's the term that I will be using. And there's a lot of people that say, I'm just really connected to this animal. And that's not the same. Uh, it's not the same because when you are kin with something, it is actually a part of yourself. So other ways that you can uh, sort of express your other heartedness or other kithness, that's not a real word. None of these are real words, really, if you think about it. But other ways that you can do that is to, uh, you know, watch videos on them, um, read about them. I feel like I'm kind of repeating myself here, but I want to make this video short. So I'm trying to give as many good examples as I can. Read about them, uh, do something in their honor. Uh, definitely, definitely, if you can, like volunteer with that species, like say that you're, you're cat hearted. Maybe volunteer at your local animal shelter. Just find ways that you can connect with them and find ways that you can give back to them while still um, sort of maintaining that it's not a part of yourself. It's just something that you feel a very deep seated connection to. That's honestly it for this video. I know that it's super, super short, but I was like, I should take this opportunity to film and I wanted to put something out. I will have more in-depth videos later, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.